Grant Nichols, Huntsville Doppler, and this is our town. And this is 83 acres of beautiful, also known as Pittman's Bay. Now the origins of the name still remain a mystery according to writer David Johns, brother of Baden and son of the late great Wally Johns. It's hard to be at Pittman's Bay and not think about Mr. Wally Johns and his years of passion and dedication towards scouting within our community. Word had it that in 1945, Mrs. Bain was going to sell this property to some Americans to build some cottages. Well, once some local businessmen heard word of that, Mr. George Hutchison, Mr. Claude Wardell, and Mr. Sid Avery purchased the property to keep it for local youth groups. The deal was that they would sell it back to the United Church for the same price. So, in 1951, the church was approached, but unfortunately, they didn't have the funds. And then once again, that's when members of the community stepped up. The Boy Scouts, the town of Huntsville, and many other merchants and private volunteers gave their time, their talent, and their money to maintain Pittman's Bay. To this day, it's still used by scouts and guides and different youth groups. It's also available for rentals on weekend. Yeah, yeah, just call the town. Personally, I think this would be a great location for an outdoor concert, but that's just me. But on a serious note, it's hard to be in a place like this and not be grateful for people like Mr. George Hutchison, Mr. Claude Wardell, and Mr. Sid Avery, and all the other people that have given their time to keep Pittman's Bay a beautiful facility and a great location within our community. Grant Nichols, Huntsville Doppler. This is our town.